Hi friends, this is in continuation to our pivot table series. In this video, we will talk about how pivot tables can help us in different calculations without any use of formulas. In this pivot table, we have country wise sales. I want to see these sales as a percentage of total. So right click, then you can go show values as and you can select percentage of grand total. This directly converts all the numbers into percentages. Okay, but people will say that why can't I see both percentage as well as numbers? So the solution for that is you can bring numeric column into values once more, and then you can apply the same trick on this number. You can name it as sales percentage. Let us understand these calculations a little more. I will bring region and country. I want to know how much is India contributing to Asia and how much is Asia contributing to total. Okay. So this time I will go for show values as and then you have these options parent row total or parent column total. Okay. Let's use parent row total can see India is 84% out of Asia. I don't want to see 84 plus 1500 because that's obvious. Okay. I want to see how much is India for Asia and how much is Asia for total. Let's try one more calculation. I have region wise sales. I have product wise categories. Okay, and I will go back to my normal calculation. Okay, now I want to know how much is Asia contributing to fruit sales. Okay, so the total of fruit sales should be used as 100%, and these numbers should add up to 100. So this time I will use right click and percentage of column total so 61 24 14 that makes 100 but one can ask a different question how much is fruits contributing to total asia sales so then i will have to use percentage of row total so this becomes 100 and 25 percent is the contribution in asia sales from fruits okay Now, let us discuss time-wise sales. So, these are my yearly sales. I don't want quarters. I just want years and month and I want to see them expanded. And I will format using thousand separator. Now, this is a way to see the trend but what if you want to compare them like January for 2019, January for 2020. So I will take the date which is currently behaving as month because of our grouping and I will put it in columns. Okay, you can see comparison is there because the columns are the months are more and year is less. So let's do it opposite way dates month in rows and year in columns now when you are in the process of comparison you don't want to see these two being added so we can go to grand totals and we can say that only show me the totals for columns not for rows now what if this is currently month on month sales what if you want to see your year till date sales that means if you are in July okay and you want to see what was the sales up to July so that is year till date July sales 38,465 what was this this YTD sales till March 20,000 okay but how to do it in pivot tables directly I will say right click any number show values as 
and this time I will go for running total in. When I click that, it is having running total based on what? Date, because dates are the deciding factor for YTD. The months are the deciding factor of the YTD. So when we click here, you can see July 38 till March. So it is calculating YTD for every year and for every month. So that way you can directly use YTD feature using this running total. I will undo it. And again, if you want to see month sales as well as YTD sales, you can again bring amount and for one of the column you can keep as month for the next column you can show it as running total in months and format the number custom formats so that they are more readable you can change the name also ytd sales okay now let us assume that we are not interested in YTD sales. I want to compare them. I want to compare the sales of 2020 with previous year which is 2019. How to do that? You need to take the difference of 2020 minus 2019. Okay, again, my suggestion is do not go outside pivot table. Use as many features of pivot tables as you can. So how to do it? I will bring amount again. So currently these are same numbers like this but i will say show values as not running total this time i will go for difference from i will take a difference difference from what not based on date because i was comparing years so based on years and base item is previous that means i want to subtract previous year from current then click ok you can see this is empty because for this line there is no previous for 2019 there is no previous but for 2020 10 to 83 minus 10 149 134 dollar is the difference 8102 7300 772 is the difference so you can directly take the difference or you can call it variance what if you want to see the growth whether you increased or decreased you can take your sales again let's name it as growth growth percentage and i will go for percentage difference from last time we did use this one to get the variance but this time we will take it as percentage and this 134 is 1.32% of previous year sales this 205 is 7.3% of 2300 and overall if we compare the full year 7.4% is the increase in total sales so thank you for watching the video see you next time